Here we are. It is May 22nd, 1020 EST. Let's recap what played out on S&P this week and the importance of Fibonacci levels. This is where we started seeing very powerful selling pressure on May 19th, reminding you the danger of acquiring position anywhere near reversal zone. Sellers picked up this team on May 20th to the tick. And what have they found? They found buyers at decision point too. Let's hold on one second and let's take a look what oil is doing. Guess what? The same thing today on Friday 22nd. The dance between the levels. It's ain't pretty. That's exactly the reason why we're staying out today on oil. That's exactly the reason why I spelled out to our fabulous, amazingly tortured souls, oil traders, this morning. Know what not to enter into. And if you're knowledgeable and you know what price is telling you, you would not be touching anywhere near this level, not buy or sell, because it's worthlessly corrective. And that's the exact same thing S&P had done on May 20th, staging very powerful reversal once decision point two was broken. And that's exactly what we're waiting and monitoring on oil. I expect powerful selling pressure here or powerful buying pressure here. Nothing here. Worthless corrective love. What has S&P done after it collapsed all the way down? Let's take a look where buyers picked up this team. And let's take a look why it is so important to respect and monitor powerful formations outside of trading hours, which our students had taken advantage of. This is where buyers picked up this team on May 20th at the close of the market. This is where were multiple very powerful buying opportunity. Once again reminding you the danger of acquiring position anywhere near this level. And that's exactly what we're witnessing this morning. So let's rehab what happened with the uptrend when price found once again very important levels reminding you how essential it is to respect these levels to the upside the bullish trend struggled for six hours against decision point one the end of the minor trend because the buy from my 20th found very very powerful resistance and this is where we shorted s and in the room and you see where it found buyers correct yesterday this was our short and you know where to expect buying pressure that's where we closed our trade and that's again reminder the same thing oil is doing right now ouch don't babysit the fluff, pretty please. Respect the levels. Don't enrich your broker, enrich yourself by quality trading. Traders again found serious selling pressure at reversal zone. And here we are. The fascin fascinating dance is on. I expect every single buyer will find sellers each and every time. That's why currently I continue staying out as of 1025 EST on May 22nd because every time buyers show up they find sellers. It's ain't pretty. We completely expecting that because daily chart is showing that this brick wall is so 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 near and that's why tomorrow if price will crawl up somewhere here and you know the rules. Enjoy the collapse. That's where the power will be. We're only interested in the inception of the trend. This is worthless fluff. Daily chart. Worthless levels. 
because hourly came two reversals. So let's recap what happened on oil. This is exactly what I teach in our Fibonacci wave class. That actually is today because tomorrow is the beginning of the weekend, correct? So pretty please don't forget those who are not in United States of America. It is Memorial Day weekend. I expect markets to be extremely, extremely slow unless S&P will crawl up to our levels. So here it is. This was oil. Ultimate fight, all the levels drawn since Thursday last week. Reveal shall reach, the fight is on. And this was our long on oil from this level to here. Very simple and very clear. And that's how price moves. And currently on this bullish uptrend, oil is stuck. And until it will find either powerful buyers or sellers, nothing good will happen. And that's all there is. Pure price for entry and Fibonacci for exits. Respect what price is telling you. On oil daily, price is stuck at very important level. Not much is happening here. And that's why I encourage you, respect what price is telling you and don't ever babysit the fluff. And that's Fibonacci review for this week. The only good thing that will happen on oil if it will find powerful selling pressure. If you're trading daily chart you would like to be somewhere here. Buying on daily here every time sellers will pick up this team. But eventually after bearish pullbacks I expect price to crawl up to here. And that's oil daily. Just like I expect S&P after struggle and pain on hourly to crawl up to here but this is a fight because of the decision point two on daily on S&P and this is a fight because of the reversal zone on daily on oil no meaning in this markets this morning you saved yourself a lot of times if you walked away from computer respecting the price and understanding the importance of Fibonacci levels.